Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's Jay Marie. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know I've been talking about doing a YouTube channel for a very long time now, probably for like about a year or so. And it's finally here. I'm taking you guys on this journey with me. What took me so long is that like I just wanted everything to be like of quality. Like everything that I do, I want it to be of quality. I want it to be the best that I can like produce. So here it is, and I'm taking you guys on this journey with me. I hope you guys enjoy. This is my first video, and I'm very excited about it. I'm doing this in 2019, and we're starting you off with a bang. First, I'm going to go in with my eyebrow gel in the color Espresso, and my eyebrow brush with the spoolie and an angled brush tip. I'm going to start off by carving the top of my brow and I'm going to do the exact same thing at the bottom. I continue to carve until I get a good shape. Once I get a good shape without adding any extra product to the brush, I begin to fill them in. I don't like to add any more product when filling my brows in because this, is, this product is very pigmented and I don't like my brows to be too bold or too thick looking. A little really goes a long way with this product. Now I'm going to take the spoolie end of the brush and disperse everything evenly into the brow. And then I'm going to take the angle side and do hair like strokes upward in the front of my brow to give it just kind of like a hair like look up there and not really shade it in like I did previously. And now I'm going to do the exact same steps that I did to the other brow to this one. go in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC45 and I grabbed another angle brush and I'm just going to take these two things just to carve out the bottom of my brow. Now I don't like to carve out the entire brow because I don't like the halo effect. I just like to give it just a natural look and goes better with the face. going to do the exact same thing that I did to the other brow. I'm just going to carve it out with concealer. I'm now taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee and laying it on top of my lid as primer. And now you see me, I'm patting it into my lid so that the primer doesn't like move at all. So now I'm going to take my Morphe 350 palette that I love so very much and I'm just going to take the lightest shade that they have which is up front and I'm just going to set the concealer that I placed on top of my lid as primer previously. So I'm going to be using this Morphe palette for the entire look and to start it off I'm going to go into the shade Hey and apply it right above my crease and right underneath my brow. Now I'm going to take this little Morphe fluffy brush and go into the color Extra and apply it right into the same area that I applied the first color and just kind of fluff it out a little bit and use this as a transition color also. It's not in my crease, but it's kind of fading into it. 
at the same time and it's like right above the crease. So don't go too far, it's right above the crease. I'm taking the color Burnt Spice and I'm going to just use that shade and apply it right in my crease. As you can see, the colors are kind of looking as if they're ombre and coming from lightest to darkest and that's exactly what I was going for. You don't want to like just have the colors just clumping on top of each other so just go ahead and buff them out with a fluffy brush and just make sure they're very smooth. I'm going to now take the shade Coco and I'm going to place it on top of Burnt Spice and also travel it up a little bit because I felt like I wanted it a little bit darker up there and not so orangey. So yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. into my Urban Decay palette and I'm going to take the shade Blackout which is a black eyeshadow and I'm going to apply that all over my lid. As you can see I'm going in with the shade Blackout and I'm like just patting it in more so I'm not swiping it or like just kind of moving in a circular motion because it is a black eyeshadow and getting black eyeshadow on your face is not it. And now I'm taking that fluffy brush that I used previously and just kind of buffing out things, just making sure everything is smooth and good. So now I'm going to take my NYX glitter primer. We're going to get into the glitter now. And I'm just going to take the primer and just pat it on top of the area where I put blackout, which is my lid. And this is exactly where I'm going to be placing the NYX Gold Metal Glitter. And I'm applying it with a Morphe Flat Brush. I'm just picking it up and applying it and patting it on there. Because I don't want to get glitter all over my face, which I kind of did. But it's okay because you just wipe it off. And as you can see, I'm just smoothing things out, making, every, making sure that everything is just flowing right because I do want this to be a very smoky eye type of glitter. So here I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Orange and I'm just going to use it as a color corrector and place it underneath my eyes and anywhere I have blemishes and I'm taking my Real Technique, Real Technique sponge and I'm just blending that out really well. Here you see me going in with foundation. I'm using the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Macau. And I'm just using a brush to just apply it wherever. Well, literally everywhere. But not too much on my forehead because I don't like to put too much foundation up there because I'm gonna contour and highlight up there and I, in such a little space I don't like to put too much product up there but it's whatever you guys like I'm just showing you guys what I prefer And now we're going back into the MAC NC45 and I'm just going to apply that underneath my eyes, as you can see, on my forehead, just a little, underneath my nose, right above my cupid's bow, on my chin, and down the bridge of my nose. Now I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge 
and yes it is damp make sure it's damp guys and I'm just going to go ahead and blend all of that concealer all the way in so here I'm just using this brush to kind of buff out any like harsh lines and I'm going to continue Patting in my concealer with my sponge, just blending in everything. So now we're going to contour with the Elegia Pro Concealer in the shade Mahogany. And I'm just going to put it right up in my cheekbone area on my forehead to give it a little bit of chisel. And on the bridge of my nose. And as you can see, I'm using this L flat brush and I'm working upwards to blend in my cheeks because I want to be very snatched. That is always the goal. And I'm going up there on my forehead and just blending it out a little bit. And now I'm going to go in with an even smaller brush just like the one that I used before and blend out the contour on my nose. So here I am going in with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm going to use my sponge to apply this underneath my eyes, um, right above my cupid's bow, underneath my nose, on my forehead and right on the side of my mouth to prevent small creases. to just pat the powder in so that it like seeps into my skin. I don't like to brush it off. I love to pat it in because it just makes everything stay in place and I love the effect that it gives to So here I am just making sure all of that is nicely patted in and it's looking really good so far, so we're not done yet. So now we're into contouring and I got this kit from my local beauty supply store. And I'm just going to apply it on the bridge of my nose and on my forehead everywhere that I laid the cream contour. So here I am just carving out my contour. I like to do this because it gives my contour a more sharp look and I just love it. So now we're going to get into the blush and I'm using my MAC Breezy Sheer Tone Shimmer Blush and just applying that on my cheeks. Now I'm going to go back into my Urban Decay Palette and I'm just going to take black out and just line my waterline with it. Then I'm going to go back into my Morphe Palette and take that smoky color that I used earlier and just smoke it out underneath blackout. Now we're at my very favorite part. I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and I'm going to apply it on my cheeks, on my nose, on my forehead, which I kind of overdid and I went and corrected that with that brush that I used earlier to correct everything. And I'm going to go in up there and I'm going to go on my cupid's bow and on my chin. Okay guys, so this is my finished, unfinished look. I applied gloss and lashes off camera. I'll leave everything in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be back with more flawless videos for you guys. Thanks for the support.